an amazing moment in history. Five and forward, comes down nicely, 200 feet, four and a half down, five and a half down. 100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward. Tranquility base here, the Eagle has landed. For the very first time, humans walk on the moon in 1969. The Apollo 11 spacecraft that took them needed electric power for its computers and other vital equipment. That power was provided by fuel cells. The moon landing could not have happened without this totally new technology. But like a lot of cutting edge technology, the original idea goes back a long way. So here's how the cell works. Hydrogen gas is fed into a chamber on one side so that hydrogen molecules can permeate through the electrode. On the other side, oxygen permeates this electrode. In the centre is the electrolyte, a weak solution of potassium hydroxide. Although only a millimetre thick, the electrodes are almost impervious to liquids. They provide an interface between the electrolyte and the gases and act as catalysts for the half reactions. At this electrode, hydrogen, the reductant, reacts with hydroxide ions to form water. As this happens, electrons are released and flow into the external circuit. At this electrode, oxygen, a strong oxidant, grabs electrons from the external circuit and reacts with water to form hydroxide ions. hydrogen fuel cells power cars in the future? It will depend on many factors, including what happens with oil supplies and prices, and whether battery-powered electric cars go mainstream before fuel cell cars really have a chance to compete. As with any product, there's a huge difference between a good idea and its widespread adoption in the marketplace. So far, we've looked at fuel cells in transport applications. But a fuel cell doesn't have to be on the move. It can generate electricity in a fixed position. Why would you want to do that? Well, once again, you might be looking for a way to reduce greenhouse emissions from power generation. In 1991, an experimental power station was set up in the Japanese city of Goi. It used a new type of fuel cell to generate electricity for one of the city's suburbs, 